When reading how Betsy Ross became famous, Emilio asked a very heavy question. How important was it to have famous female revolutionaries? The woman that I chose to look at as my response to this prompt was Mercy Otis Warren, who is known as a founding mother of America. Warren was a poet and a historian and was extremely intellectual and accomplished. Yet, as we look at Warren's work in the revolutionary time period, she is known for her five pivotal fictional theatrical productions between the years 1772 and 1775. These pieces promoted anti-British culture of the revolutionary movement. However, the dramatic literature that she produced was generally known as propaganda rather than art. Sakella, in her 2009 study, Freedom's Call, argues that this is a vast understatement of the literary techniques used by Warren and undermines the pivotal role that she played within the revolutionary landscape. She points out that Warren's dramatic literature is critiqued outside of the context and time in which it was given. Rather, she argues that Warren used complicated literary inventions to invoke a complacent populace. In essence, Sakella states that it was through the pen of this woman that mobilized many men and women to take a stand against the British rulership. Another author, Rosemary Segura, in her 2015 book, A Woman's Dilemma, Mer Mercy Otis Warren and the American Revolution, stated that it was her pen that was the weapon that was used to mark a new nation, and she did so with much skill. This is due, Segura states, to the environment in which she was given to set free the workings of her mental capacity, rather than letting it being stifled. Warren's work sustained the belief of civic virtue within the culture and fanned the flame of resistance. Warren is also known for her 1805 History of the American Revolution writing, which is one of the earliest and most accurate histories of the revolutionary time. This, author Sakura states, was the best expression of her political temperament and the best example of her work. Thus, when the influence of this one woman's importance is addressed, I look back at our 2007 textbook, The Glorious Cause, The American Revolution by Middlecoff, where he states that this war was not against an army, but against a civilization a civilization that included women and children. We see women rising to the challenge and engaging in the fight on multiple fields because this was their home. This was their way of life. Most women did this without stepping outside of their predetermined gender roles of that day, but fight they did in however they possibly could. It was the entirety of the culture that overthrew the British and the striking pen of Mercy Otis Warren was a mighty weapon in the hands of the revolutionaries against the enemy 